County detectives are trying to find the person who vandalized several parks across that county over the weekend. The vandal or vandals caused potentially thousands of dollars worth of damage. As WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts reports, cleanup is still underway. As fireworks rang out across our area in celebration for the 4th of July weekend. Uh, there was debris in there. We there was found a whole bunch of debris over there. Investigators now want to know who used them for a more destructive purpose. Blowing up sinks, toilets, soap dispensers, and spray painting profane graffiti and some graphic pictures in six cases at four Martin County parks. We try to prevent them as best we can. Detectives like Ben Lyles spent Tuesday visiting each park. I would say as far as vandalisms go, this would be a larger vandalism spree to have six cases over a weekend. Picking up possible evidence and photographing the damage that could cost taxpayers more than $10,000 to repair or paint over. The park's hits were Pendarvis Cove Park likely on the third, Jock Layton in Palm City on the fourth, Mary Broken Park on the fourth or fifth, and Sandsprit Park in Stewart. Deputies also believe vandalism to the Stewart Water Tower might be tied to all of this. Yes, and very much so could be linked to the other graffiti that we have. The city of Stewart is considering installing surveillance cameras near the tower as Stewart police also investigate who's behind this. It could affect all of us. You know, the county does a good job. The parks are open to all of us. But at some point, enough is enough, and they could potentially start locking the doors and making it more restrictive to us. Major John Budenseek believes the vandal might be local. Somebody was probably a little more familiar with these parks than an outside person. Asking the community to speak up if they know who is responsible. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.